Okay, you may have heard about the love languages. Well, now it's time to learn about something that's also very important in relationships, apology languages. Now we all have different ways to communicate, so we are looking at a few of the different styles of saying, I'm sorry. Do little words with tremendous power that's been expressed in songs from Justin Bieber and Beyonce. The evidence of sincerity in an apology really differs from person to person. Dr. Jennifer Thomas and her co-author, Dr. Gary Chapman, have identified the different ways we apologize in their book, The Five Apology Languages. She's sharing a few of these languages so you can better understand and strengthen your relationships. Starting with expressing regret. Expressing regret means saying I'm sorry. It speaks to the emotions that we've caused in the other person. She says when expressing regret, be specific for what you're apologizing for. You should name what you did, and that's going to show the other person more of your sincerity. Next, accepting responsibility. When we accept responsibility, we'll often say the words, I was wrong. And this lets the person know that I'm not going to try to shift the blame to them. Stay away from I was wrong, but don't try to give explanations at this point because they're going to end up sounding like excuses. The next apology language on our list, making restitution or making amends. For some people, they might listen to your saying, I'm sorry, thinking, well, talk is cheap. This apology language uses a tangible action to display the sincerity of the apology. We see this used in customer service. If you've been disappointed at a place of business, they'll say, we'll take some charges off of your bill. And that's the same thing that we can do in our personal relationships. Finally, requesting forgiveness. Some people, including the bicyclist Lance Armstrong, said, I hope my fans can someday find it in their hearts to forgive me. With this apology language, you are not demanding immediate forgiveness, but hoping to build trust somewhere down the road. And that's a really honoring thing to do, to say, I know I've let you down, but it would mean a lot to me if I can work on rebuilding your trust. Learning to translate and speak the languages of apology.